in this final section, we want the area. So we want this entire area in here. Maybe I'll do it in purple like this, but we want this whole area here. Now, how in the world do you find the area of a sector? Well, you look it up, of course. Uh, so if we look up the equation, we have the area of a sector. We can call it area, that equals A. And you look it up in your formula booklet, it's 1 half theta r squared. So this is an equation, again, do not need to memorize, just look it up. So there you go, that's nice to know. And what do we then do? Well, of course, we just put in the values that we know. So it's actually a surprisingly easy question if you just decode it right. So it's 1 half times theta, and what was theta? It was 1.9 rad. There we go. And then we have r squared, where r is 40. Now we can leave it in centimeters, I guess, if we really want to be sloppy, but don't forget the squared. That's really important there. So again, if I want to actually do this calculation, I open up my trusty calculator and I can just do exactly that. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I can do, um, I like to do the 40 squared first. There's so many ways of doing it, but I just like to do little sections. That's 40 squared. Then I do times 1.9 and I'll do divide that answer by two. Some people like to put it all at once. That's perfectly fine. But the answer is 1520. So equals 1, 5, 2, 0. I have three significant figures, which is nice. And don't forget the units. If it's an area, um, I have to have it in centimeters squared. You can also see that because the radius here ended up being squared and radius was in centimeters. So there we go. There's my area and I'm done this question. Not so bad, huh?